Hey guys, Derek with Survivalist. Um, I'm going to be touching a little more on fire making. Um, one of the things is... I'll show you in a second. How to get a fire like that going. Yes, it's not always easy. That one's already going. But, one of the things you're going to want is matches. That's one thing that you can actually use. They're very good to use. Lightweight, fit in your pocket. Because they're small, compact. You get about 40 of them. Um, that's one of the things that you do want to use. Another thing that I do have that will also help are waterproof fire sticks. Now these, you can actually break in half. Um, each one lasts about half hour or so for uh, flame time. So that way, you can actually break those in half. You'll actually get more fires out of them. So that way, you can get basically more out of it. And one of the biggest things that you want to make sure you have is a lot of small stuff to help get it going. But make sure you have plenty of wood stocked up, like right here. This will actually last you a while, especially if you get a small fire going. Um, that way, you know you're going to get a decent fire, get some good heat. Um, like I said, fire is actually good for many things. One, melting snow to get water. Um, boiling water to make sure it's clean. Good for light, heat and also cooking on um, so that way when you get something going it's more than just one use it's a multi-purpose thing that you can actually have going um, like I showed you that that fire is more for a heat source right now but if you have a different type of like an open flame going you can actually use that for like I said cooking like meats you know anything like that heating water or giving off a light so that way you can actually see where you're going um until then i will actually be doing a little more if you want i'll actually give you a little demonstration got my matches And what you want to do is you can actually see there's a red tip on the match. There's a little mag strip right here. And what you do, get a little fire going. Then you can actually use that on something small. You want to make sure there's small stuff so that way, you know, that'll plant, that plane will actually catch the small stuff, then continually adding to it to get a bigger flame so that way you get a good heat source and light and anything else that you need to use it for um i will be hitting on a few more things as well um just stay tuned click subscribe and i'll keep you guys posted